All right, ready to go? So Sensible, congratulations, you guys uh, were, were the uh, audience choice out of the alley out there. You brought a huge device, and no, no slides. So you have six minutes on the clock, and uh, go for it. Thank you. Yeah, we didn't have time to uh, prepare the presentation. We just picked one hour ago. Uh, so thank you. I'm Omer from Sensible. Uh, we make any air conditioner smart. And I want to tell you how it all started. So 10 years ago, uh, I was biking back from work home, and it was summer. I came home. It was super hot. And the air conditioner until it started cooling. It took a long time. And I said, well, I can't, can't have it. So I hacked my AC back then. It was before smartphones. And I, it received emails. So I sent in an email before I came home. And uh, that was it for the time. And then years have passed, and we are today with smartphones and the Internet of Things and everything connected. And I was sure I'm going to uh, find a product that uh, connects my air conditioner or a new air conditioner that is connected. But I couldn't. I searched online. All I could find is smart thermostats like Nest. But I had this air conditioner in my home, and uh, there are one billion of uh, these kinds of air conditioners all around the world. Uh, so uh, I w the only logical conclusion was to build a product that connects the air conditioner. So uh, I called my friend Ran, and we built a couple of prototypes uh, that uh, connect existing air conditioners to the internet. Uh, and we ended the prototypes to the family and friends. Uh, and it was a huge success. But then we discovered something amazing. We discovered that on not only we can control it uh, via an app, uh, we can actually save a huge uh, amount of energy. We were able to save to our pilot users uh, an average of 40% on the energy, uh, and it was huge. So uh, we started this startup, and we designed, uh, you can see, the Sensible Pod on the air conditioner unit. Um, it works on any remote control air conditioner, uh, window air conditioner, which is very popular in uh, the big cities in the US, and the split types you can see here. Uh, which is very popular all around the world, one billion, like I said. Uh, so we have all kinds of really nice things. Uh, it's like uh, the smart thermostat, but your home uh, room air conditioner. Uh, there's the ener energy benefits. Uh, the Sensible recognizes the efficient temperature. It can set it for you. It can uh, detect uh, clogged filters. It detects open uh, if the window is open and the air is leaking out. Um, it detects that nobody is home, of course, or in the room, uh, and there are a lot of other energy benefits. And of course, uh, we have all kind of algorithms that learn and adapt to your lifestyle. So uh, you start using uh, the, the app to set it uh, to your temperature and to when you come home to, to turn it on, but then it starts learning and it does it for you, or it sends a notification if you prefer. Uh, so. Uh, the, the idea is that uh, the, the climate, uh, the air conditioner is not a TV. You don't want to control it. You just want it to happen. So there, there's a lot of really cool things we are planning to do, like connect it to uh, wearables, uh, to smartwatches that measures your uh, sweat on the skin, the skin temperature, and your metabolism, and then set, uh, give this, this data to the air conditioner that can uh, act upon it. Um, so. Other than that, we uh, were connected. We, you can control all of your air conditioner. In a thermostat, you only have one place to control it. Uh, here you have like 10 rooms and 10 uh, ACs you want to control, so you control it from one place. Uh, so we had a crowdfunding campaign a couple of years ago, uh, a couple of months ago, I'm sorry. Uh, it was a huge success on Indiegogo. We actually just won the Indiegogo Funniest Movie for 2014, which is really, uh, we're really proud of it. Uh, so just let me do this. Um, so uh, we're taking pre-orders now on our site. Uh, the, the first kit, the, the basic kit for Sensible costs $160. And then for each additional air conditioner you have in your home or office, it's another $80. Uh, that's, that's about it. Uh, just, uh, I'll just demonstrate, uh, hope it works. We just brought it from <coughs> Sense Expo. So I can uh, actually uh, control it. I can uh, change the temperature. And I have all kinds of notifications that says sometimes you get a notification from the server. The temperature is inefficient. Uh, Sensible changes the temperature for you. It explains that it doesn't uh, affect your comfort at all. but. Uh, 
sometimes just changing one temperature to one degree uh, can uh, actually save 40 or 50 percent on the, the energy uh, cost and reduce your electricity bill. So we want the world to be greener, to reduce CO2 emissions, and uh, of course, uh, to affect your uh, uh, electricity bill in the end of the month. Uh, we can turn it off. Uh, we can change ACs, of course. Uh, that's it. Thank you. Hmm. All right, very cool. You could just leave it on, I think. <laughs> so, so you started out sending emails to your air conditioner. What was the email say? The email was, uh, in the subject, it was like AC turn on oh, okay. and AC turn off. This, w this was about it back then. So you just did your, it did had a Blackberry that it would carry around with it and... Sorry? You had, a, the, the air conditioner had a Blackberry. Yeah, it, it had uh, something connected to it, it was a device, <laughs> but there were no smartphones, so I had to use emails. Okay. They were around uh, back oh, then. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. So are you going to do some uh, integrated system for bigger spaces, like big offices, for example, when you have many, many devices and you, can, you could control it from, for example, one uh, app, but everyone could uh, use their own customized settings in different areas. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it's personalized for each user who uses, uh, who uses the, the AC. You can control a, a lot of, the, there's no limit for the amount of air conditions you can control. You can do it in offices, you can do it in uh, large homes uh, and houses and apartments. We actually, uh, people uh, in hotels even, we got a lot of requests for uh, hotels with these kinds of air conditioners, uh, no smart, uh, not, not connected, and they want uh, to benefit from the energy saving. So yeah. C can you talk about um, the technology a little bit? And um, so uh, as far as I can tell, it's, it's uh, infrared uh, protocols that are being transferred uh, through uh, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. For, uh, can you talk about the technology and, and also what makes the device expensive? Yeah, so uh, how it works, it works with any remote control air conditioner. So uh, yeah, it has uh, infrared LEDs. Uh, we actually had, uh, uh, we have all the codes of all of the air conditioners in the world in our database, which is millions of different codes. And we want the experience to be as easy for the user and it's just a one minute installation now. Uh, so uh, it, we know the codes for all air conditioners so we can uh, change the settings. Uh, and the protocol, uh, it works uh, over six low pan uh, or Zigbee. Uh, people know more Zigbee, it's six low pan actually. So we have the smart hub that you can, uh, the gateway that you can see uh, down there. You need one of them uh, for uh, your apartment or for your office and then a, a pod for each air conditioner. Uh, this is why the starter kit is 160 and each additional one is $80 because you only need to buy the additional pod. Uh, and so do you, would you have a version for just for one? Uh, or does it make any sense to, to buy one actually as a consumer and put it at home and have it directly connecting to the, uh, to the phone? Uh, Without the router? Well, we have a, we have a Bluetooth chip uh, inside yeah. as well. We have Zigbee and Bluetooth, but we, we want to connect to the internet because all the smart algorithms, all the energy saving, we use a lot of data. Mm -hmm. And this is actually what <coughs> and why we started everything because we could use a lot of, uh, of of data and measurements in the server. So, uh, and uh, we use Bluetooth for the iBeacons for proximity sensing to know uh, 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 when you open the app, when you launch the app, which room you are in, in order to make the interface better for you and uh, for uh, uh, empty room detection. Uh, and we have all kinds of other sensors, like temperature, humidity, we have vibrations, light sensors, and uh, all of this we're using in order to uh, build the algorithms for prediction better and for energy saving. Well, I was born in Singapore, so I, I use air conditioning all the time, yeah. pretty much. Uh, quick question, when you talk about energy saving, how do you actually achieve energy saving? I mean, because if I want a air conditioning, I'm, I'm warm, I'll just, I'll just switch it on. Um, it's, wouldn't that, when I switch it on when I want it, I switch it off when I don't want it, isn't that? Uh, yeah, so, uh, so this, is, this is actually what, what was amazing and surprised us when we started. Uh, we actually discovered that it's a paradox. The engine of the air conditioner is super efficient. A lot of uh, engineering hours and years went into making it efficient. But what they didn't do is actually uh, address the, how people use the air conditioner. So uh, you can use it in a very inefficient way. And we, with all the sensors, we discover it. For instance, set the temperature to some unreachable uh, target temperature. So 
the air conditioner is unable to cool or hit the room for that temperature and just tries harder and harder and it just can't. So we know how to detect that. It depends on the hour of the day, on the sun, on the weather, and on the specific room. So uh, this, is, this is how we use data and we, we know how to uh, tell you uh, to change the temperature, do it for you to uh, save energy. Sure, outside I've of those anomalies, let's say I just want 70 degrees and I, you know, I just do 70 degrees. How, 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 do you, how does the data help save energy? Okay, so sometimes you set it to 70 degrees, but it doesn't uh, reach 70 degrees. And so we tell you uh, we only reach 72, 72 degrees. It might take you two more hours to reach 70 and it will cost you $100 for the next month. So make a choice. You can either change it or uh, stay with 70 and pay the pay. You don't have enough information. So sure. this is the feedback you get. In this algorithm, you don't have information, you don't have feedback. Other than that, we detect that you should change the filters because nobody wants to do it and you always do it next summer. Uh, so our measurements, we see the degradation in how it uh, operates and uh, we find out and we send you notification, we should change the filter, you can save a bunch of money. Uh, and we detect anomalies like an open window. You should actually uh, close the window or uh, the door because you're wasting energy. Uh, so it's super cool, you can uh, do it and pre-orders now, we are shipping in two months for our pre-orders, so uh, go online and uh, buy it. How does it. How does it know you have an open window? What's that? How does it know you have an open window? Uh, we detect anomalies in the temperature and humidity levels, uh, it's uh, oh. an anomaly and we know to detect a lot of... Uh, Alright, super. Sensible. Stuff. What's the website? The website is sensible.com. Alright, super. Thank you very much. Thank you.